Hey guys, today is July 26, 2020, and earlier this week, Team Fusion released a new version of Avada, Avada 7.0. So it has some very exciting new features that I wanted to go over with you. So I decided to create a quick refresher video and I'll update parts of this course on Udemy to update you what the latest stuff is in Avada 7.0. So some exciting stuff like the header builder and some new options to work with the container and columns are released with the version 7.0, which add more flexibility to your installation. So what I've done here is uh, I have reinstalled the Avada on my test uh, URL and I activated it with the same code. If you are just updating it from the version 6 dot something to 7.0, you don't need to re-register and you don't need to add the registration key again. It will already be registered. So you, all you need to do is to just update the theme. And I always recommend to all my students that uh, it is the best practice to always have the latest and greatest uh, theme plugins out there because they uh, ensure that your website is secure. So that is very, very important. So here is the new look as you can see in version 7.0.1. So some of the UI has changed. Currently we are on the uh, registration page because I had to re enter the registration key again. But I will just go over the dashboard. And here you see the dashboards. What do you see here are the uh, three options that are available from the dashboard. So you can go to Avada options panel which we use extensively in this course. Uh, you can go directly here. Uh, you can access the demo websites uh, by clicking on the websites here or you can click on the websites here and then you click on the maintenance and all these uh, links like plugin, add-on, support, status, patcher will be available to you. You can also view the change log like all the version updates and what's happening in which version uh, or for patcher as well as the major theme updates and the change log as well. So right now what I'll do is just go ahead and uh, activate my plugin. So I will just go to go manage plugins. And remember again, if you are updating, you don't need to reinstall these uh, plugins, but you'll have to update if an update is available. And whenever you'll update the theme, these two plugins will definitely require an update. In my case, because it's a fresh installation, it's asking me to install the core and the builder and anything else that I wanted to go over. So I'll just go ahead and install the Fusion Core and you can also notice that there are new icons on these things uh, compared to my last video on this topic. So I wanted to highlight that as well because uh, by the time you're watching this, maybe another update has come out and maybe I'll need to update again. Okay, so core has installed. Now it says deactivate. I'll do the same. Uh, builder is installed as well. And now it says deactivate. So I have Avada core, Avada builder. The next time, uh, next thing I want to go over is to show you how to import sample layout. So again, the same exercise. We will go to the websites. And previously, uh, my uh, tutorial was based on uh, Avada author. So I will just go ahead, uh, nothing in this area has changed, so I can just go ahead and import that. So I will install WooCommerce, Contact Form 7, and Slider Revolution. And uh, I basically want to import everything, so I will check box X and click on Import. Okay, so we looks like we are all done and I'll just click on this done button and I will click on the visit site. And you will see that uh, I'll have a similar setup based on my earlier videos, uh, my earlier course, everything is back to where it was. And I can continue working from here. So you will, an option, you will have an option to uh, carry along uh, with my tutorial from here. And uh, I will update the sections where we will talk about the header options and the new container and column options. So thanks very much for watching. Until next time.